welcome to some MLB The Show 22 Road to the Show with Jivy World. Today I got a little bit of a different video. Uh, I do this video pretty much every year, but for you guys who are new and may need a little understanding of how things work in Road to the Show, I've got a decent understanding and kind of know how to get called up a little bit quicker. Now, I'm going to make this as quick as possible. One of the most important things is your performance, but there are some things that you can do prior to to make sure that you get called up to AAA and then to the major leagues and then have a starting spot. And then once the season is over, keep that spot and get re-signed as the major league starter. So the first thing is that when you get drafted, or right before you get drafted, your agent gives you a call. He asks you, do you want to just get drafted or do you want to choose your team? Now, this is very important. If you, you know, just want to get drafted and let the cards fall where they fall, you could end up in a really bad situation. Now, what I mean by that is Let's say, for instance, you were a shortstop, right? And you got drafted by, let's pick one of the best shortstop in baseball. You got the Dodgers and the Padres. Let's use the Padres. If you make a shortstop without a secondary and you want to get called up by the Padres, this may not be the best situation. As you can see, there are a lot of guys here. And the number one guy is Fernando Tatis, who's 23 years old. He's a 93 overall. He's a potential. He's an absolute beast. So this is your competition. This is a guy you need to be better than. You need to give the front office a reason for you to start over Fernando Tatis. And that's going to take a lot. On top of that, if we look at his contract, at least in this game, he signed through 2031 for a lot of money as well, 20, making $29 million in 2031. So it's going to be hard for you to come up. Now, they already have a backup in ha Sung Kim. So unless he gets dealt or he gets injured, you're making it doubly hard because first you got to come over him, then Tatis, and then take a spot from him. So they already have a decent backup. So for you to even get caught up to the majors is going to get hard. And then to prove you're better than Tatis, going to be even harder. On top of that, they also have CJ Abrams, who's in AAA. He's 21, 70 potential or 70 overall, a potential. This is just not a good fit. B potential, 18 years old. This is, this is going to be very, very tough. Now, let's take a look at the situation I'm in. So I made a third baseman. You obviously start off as like a 55 overall. Uh, and now in, in the depth chart, I'm third. Technically third, even though I'm the starting third baseman only a couple months into the season. Now, I had to overcome first Charles LeBlanc. As soon as the game started about one week into the season, he got called up to AAA, but then he ends up breaking his hand and he's out for a while. The game will do that. They do reward you with someone getting hurt. Pretty much whoever's in your position is, is probably going to get hurt and you're going to get at least a chance to prove you deserve to be the starter in that time period. If you fluff it, you might get sent back down. And that's happened to me many times before. However, that we also do have Tristan Casas, who's in a ball, but he's 22, which 22 is a little bit old for a ball, but he's a potential and he's 68 overall. So he could get better, but here is why I got to the position I'm at. The two major league third basemen were Brian Anderson and Joey Wendell. Brian Anderson is 28. Wendell's 31, 78, 76, a potential C potential. We obviously get an a potential pretty much no matter what, but now I need to outperform these two guys. Joey Wendell was cold and then ended up getting sent down to AAA. That helped us out a lot. When we were in AAA, we batted like 675 in 12 games. So originally, when I had simulated, I had got sent up af at, after like 12 games. Then I played the first series. It went good. I played the second series. It did not go nearly as good. And when I simulated, I didn't get called up. I simulated it over and over and over, and I didn't get called up. And it was because my stats had dropped a little bit. So I played a few more series and my stats went back up. And then no matter how many times I simulated, I got called up in the same point. So your stats are actually very important. So obviously we're killing it and we were killing it in triple A. We were killing it in double A. That's actually one of the most important things. You have to have the stats to back it up. You also have to be very focused and very aware of your attributes. Now I use equipment. I use a loadout system and I'll get into that a little bit more as well. But I try to keep everything balanced or I try to work on everything when there's training. I don't want my contact to be 99 right away, my power to be low, my fielding to be low. All that is taken into account. If you can't field, most likely there's some positions you're not going to get called up and most likely your overall is not going to go up as well. 
So you got to keep it balanced and keep raising stuff together or your overall, your overall may suffer and you may not get called up. So for me, I know that what is needing the most, especially since all my perks, equipments, and program are going to towards my contact and power, I know that my fielding needs work. So now every time I'm training, I focus on fielding, reaction, and arm. And that's all I've been focusing on. You know, speed is one. I'm gonna let that one slide. Don't really need it. I'm a power third baseman. The next thing that's very important is, like I said, your overall. Now you kind of have to understand the loadouts a little bit so that you can understand, I guess, how you want to work at it. So if we come into this screen, uh, this thing at the top is called your archetype. Now you unlock archetypes and uh, depending on how you picked when you, when you were asked what you wanted to be, uh, I wanted to be a power third baseman. So I use sparking slugger, uh, which gives me boost to power arm and some boost to contact. Uh, obviously each archetype has slightly different boosts and they affect your overall in that way. So you start off with bronze, you work your way up to silver, gold, and then finally diamond. Uh, with diamond, you do get four additional unlocks. Now this underneath the archetype is where you can put your perks and you can also put, I believe they're called quirks. So in here, I have all these unlocked just because uh, Diamond Dynasty, I, 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 buy a lot, I buy all of these in Diamond Dynasty. But you start off with bronze and you unlock packs as well. They give you, you know, power one will give you power one to each side plus clutch. Uh, power one diamond will give you plus four to power left and right plus four to clutch as well. So obviously the higher the tier for the perks, the better they do. But be on the lookout. There are some perks that give you negative uh, that will take, like for instance here, control four. We'll give you plus seven to control, plus four to home runs per nine. Pitching clutch, minus four to velocity if you focus on your control. So that's very important. Now, how do you unlock silver and move on to gold and move on to diamond? Uh, there's the item program. If you press square in the item program, it would take you to a program just like in Diamond Dynasty with uh here are your tasks as well so uh as you go along 10 will give you a a perk pack you open those in diamond dynasty uh batting perk this one's specifically a dynamic perk quirks perks so that's what they call they call dynamic perks um equipment and then at the end once you get to 100 perk points or whatever the archetype points uh you unlock the next tier which will be gold so you'll i'll probably get the same three but they'll be in gold then the same thing once i get to gold you get to level to 100 points and then it'll be diamond and then there's probably one more that gets you all the way to the top and probably unlocks uh, diamond equipment or something like that. So there is always one mission that you can only do one. That's what I've noticed so far in the first bronze and silver. Uh, tally three extra base hits was the one for this program. Gives you 10. All the other ones are repeatable. 20 plate appearances, put outs, assists, hits, extra base hits. We never steal bases, so I don't worry about this one. Uh, but they each give you three. And I'm just working my way up to 100. And then once we get to 100, we work on gold. That will give me uh, a lot more boost than we currently have, which will raise my overall to a new ceiling. Now, really the last thing, and I've already kind of touched on it a little bit. What's really important is also your statistics. Uh, your attributes are obviously very important. The better your overall, the better you move up in that depth chart. But at 18 years old in your first year in the major league, MLB The Show has this really, really weird thing where if they don't call you up, they don't call you up. But if they do call you up, you have a very good chance of being sent back down at the end of the year. So at the end of the year, you'll get sent down or after the season's over, obviously this team not making the playoff. After the season is over, they'll re-sign you and they'll give it to you most likely as a third base starter. Now, why is that? A lot of times it has to do with your statistics. For some reason, if you are not absolutely blowing it away, they don't think you are seasoned yet and you have to probably, you'll probably go back to AAA to start off the season and then you, for some reason don't get a, a roster invite in spring, which doesn't make sense to me either. And then you'll have to once again, pretty much start over like you did the last time you were in AAA where you have to go off to get that spot and then keep that spot. But then that second time, once you get that second time, Usually you keep that spot, but this is the most important. This is one of the most important things as well. You got to keep your attributes up. I think I'm already leading in home runs. I'm in the top 15 home runs in the league. And after a week, obviously we play on a very low difficulty. So if you want to play on a lower difficulty, just to get these, your attributes up, get your statistics up, 
Uh, I would recommend doing that. It's, it's also a lot more fun than playing 162 seasons in AAA. It's boring because then by the time you get called up, all the teams are completely different and it's, it's just a completely different experience. So for me, I would say play AA and AAA in a lower difficulty. Once you get called up, maybe you want to boost it. That's fine. Once you get that contract where it's not AAA bench or AAA starter or MLB bench and it's, you got that MLB starter contract, that's when I would say then you can folk, you know, you can raise the difficulty and have a little bit more fun. But until then, they're going to try to find ways to play, uh, play your replacement, which uh, looking at mine, it is Brian Anderson. There's a reason why um, I got called up. They're not doing great. Brian Anderson, and, and like you can see that I, I, I check off all the boxes, batting or 334 at bats. He's got 10 home runs, so I've already more than surpassed him. Two of seven stealing bases, which is terrible. 83 strikeouts, 228. 639 OPS, uh, a war, I think of 0.3, a 0.3 war, which I mean is, is above average. Um, he's obviously a very good de defensive third baseman, uh, but the bat is just not there. Uh, Joey Wendell is on a cold streak. I'm on a hot streak. All these things are taken into account on whether or not you get called up. I would say even sometimes, even no matter where, what point you're at, I have auto saves turned off. I will save my game or I'll save an extra save file. Why do my eyes look cross-eyed? And what I will do is I will click sim season and let it send through and see if I'm on track to get called up or not. And then I'll go back and then I'll, I'll, I'll close and reopen it and play all the games. Uh, Joey Wendell, same thing. Uh, I mean, he, he's in triple a, uh, I mean, it looked like he may have been doing slightly better than Brian Anderson and his limited at bats. Uh, but then, you know, obviously you look at me and you look at my stats, 18 games, 20 home runs, more home runs than games. Struck out four times, which is quite a lot. One, one for one, stealing bases, 1.3, 1.8 OPS, uh, in, insane number, stolen base percentage, 100, fielding 100, a 3.5 war in, what was it, 18 games? That's absolutely insane. Anyway, so I'm going to let you guys know, like I said, it's going to be a quick short video. The best things to do to get called up, number one, is don't get yourself blocked. Uh, if you're going to make a shortstop, I highly recommend if you get the Padres or the, the Mets or anyone with like an elite shortstop, you get out of Dodge e immediately. Just start over unless you're, you want it to be a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. Maybe they, I, I've had a situation where I got traded to the Blue Jays and they ended up trading uh Bo. I was a shortstop. So if you want to go that route, that's one thing, but I think getting blocked is going to make it a little bit slower for you. That's the first thing. Uh, also your attributes need to keep them balanced, raise them up together, try to raise them up. Then once you get everything to like a 70, 75 range, you, then you might want to focus on your hitting if that's what you're into. Obviously, as you guys know, it is not one through 100 anymore. It's one through 50 for your attributes. Then everything else comes from your archetype and your perks. Uh, I've made a video on that already. Uh, and then lastly, just keep your statistics up. You got you to gotta hit. And MLB The Show expects you to bat 500 if you're, if you're playing on rookie, especially if you're playing on rookie. MLB expects you to bat 500. So uh, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if this was helpful. If you did, smash the thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.